Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything entrepreneurship, building and growing a brand. So if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe down below. If you like my content, feel free or please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like my content. Today we're talking about finding that right and your unique name for your business. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so you've made the decision to finally make that business and now you're looking for a unique and right name to embody your business and all of the activities that it's going to do. Choosing a name can be quite difficult but it doesn't have to be and today we're going to go over some of the factors that you should think about when choosing your name for your business. So the first thing that you should do is to have a brainstorm session. This is quite obvious but just sit down and think about all of the names that come up doesn't matter where the names come from just think about all of the aspects that you want your brand to convey write them down think about all the names that you like write them down and just have a long list of names and then after that you'll go over all the names and then you'll see which ones you like which which ones you like best and then you'll shorten your list you can shorten your list to as many or as least names that you want but try to make your list quite short so that you have a few good names that you can then work on further and then choose from as your final name so the next thing you should do is to have a quick search or to do a quick search on the internet just do a quick search to see if your name is already taken and what it is associated associated with you don't want to pick a name that has like weird associations you don't want that another reason why you want to do a quick internet search is because you don't want to use a name that somebody else is already using for their business so that's why it's also important to just run a quick check on the internet and see what's out there about the name that you might want to choose next step is to keep the name short and simple you want people to remember you and to find you if they ever were to do like a quick Google search. So that is why you should keep your name simple and short so that they can easily remember the name. Don't go for the overly long names because someone that is going to hear your name for the first time is not going to remember it. So try to keep it as simple and as short as possible. The spelling of the name is also very important, although a pun can be very funny. As I said, it can be a little bit difficult to find you if someone heard the name for the first time. So try to look out for the spelling and also try to keep the spelling as simple as can be. Think of the story behind your brand. What is the story that you want to tell? Once again, we're going back to that brand story, brand identity brand story brand identity i have a couple of videos about that and i will put them right up here you can go and check them out after you finish this video i also have a couple of episodes about that and on my podcast and i will link them down below but when you're choosing a name you want to make sure that your name reflects the story that you want to tell with your brand with your business if you're trying to sell luxury handbags to women it doesn't really make sense to for instance use like a dog name for your business because the two are not even correlated you can do what you want but i do think that it's important to pick a name that will reflect the story that you're trying to tell so that you can use your name to further strengthen and validate your identity and your values People are definitely going to ask you why you chose a certain name. So you got to be prepared and have that story ready because people are going to ask you. So make sure that you have a good story and that the reason why you chose a certain name really reflects the identity of your brand, of your business, of the whole story behind it. So the next thing that you want to do is to pick a scalable name. The last thing you want to do is to pick a name that is too narrow or too specific and that is going to limit you and the activities that you want to do with your business. So again, if you're selling high luxury handbags to women, you don't, you might not want to choose luxury handbags for women because you don't know, you're, in the future you might want to start selling to men and then you're stuck with the name luxury high-end bags for women. So as I said, try to pick a name that is scalable, that is going to help you grow and expand in the future. Okay, so the next thing that you should think about is to make sure that you can get your hands on the domain and also on the social media handles of your name that you're going to choose because we live in a digital age. Even if you're not selling something, you need to have a website. You need to have 
your place on the internet. And before people are going to decide if they want to purchase from you, if they want to work for you, or with you, they're going to take a look at your website. That's why it's important that you have your own little space on the internet so that you can portray your business in that space as you want and that people can see what it is that you actually want to portray for your business. So people are going to search for your business name, for your brand name, so it's important that your brand name figures in your domain name. If you can, and if your business is not limited to your country alone, then try and get the .com domain name because people tend to feel like when someone has a .com domain name that their business is a little bit more reliable. So if you can, try and go for .com. But once again, that is only if your business is also operating outside of the country that you're in. If someone is already using the domain name or if someone already bought the domain name that you want but isn't actively using that domain name, you can figure out who that person is and see if they might not if they might want to sell the domain name. You can do this with the Who Is tool on GoDaddy and I'm thinking that there are a lot more tools out there, but I will link the Who Is tool down below. That way you can see who is the owner of a certain domain name and just send them a little email, see if they want to sell it or not, just so that you can have your business name in your domain. That's very important. Okay, so the last thing you should do is to take a look at your competitors. If you're not creating a whole new product or a whole new service, make sure that you take a look at your competitor's name, what are they using, and don't go for something similar. You don't want to do that. You don't You don't want people to mistake you guys for this being the same brand. And also you don't want to get sued, especially if you're, if you're offering something similar. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this short video and that it was helpful. If it was, leave me a little comment down below. Thank you for watching and then I'll see you in my next one.